God damn it, Colette, give me a little more. You cut it open! It's right there! No. I can see it! You're you're messing All right, we're it up. Good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I've been really bad at filming the last few things we've been working on on the Vert 350Z. I've just been so exhausted that I would like, try to start filming and then it's just like I take a nap and then I get back and do it and I've been all over the place. So I'm going to catch you guys up right now. One, Adam noticed that there was a leak the last time we were at the track from the radiator. So we had to replace the O-rings on that. Are you ready? Yeah, I think. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Okay. Should be good. Get the car on and put it on full blast heat. And two, we finally got the fitting that we needed to complete the inline hydro install. Now my original plan was to do a dual caliper setup and I still plan to do that, but still waiting on parts for that. So for now, I'm gonna do an inline setup. And before we couldn't do it before the Grange day because I was missing a fitting. My vert is one of the weird 350s that in order to do an inline set up from the ABS system, which is basically just like deleting the ABS. In order to do that setup, I have the weird 350Z that needs a special fitting that the kit did not come with. When we noticed it, all the stores were closed to get the fitting, so here we are now. And we started working on that. actually put this exact same hydro in his 350Z so he is familiar with um, how to get it set up and what we would need to do. We have prepped everything. All the lines for the inline setup are done. It is basically just tapping in to where the ABS module would go and bypassing that for an inline setup, which again is temporary for now, but at least it gets to me a hydro. The lines are routed, but now we need to cut out where the hydro is going to come out of from the center, since this is gonna be like a nicer, clean, tucked setup that I really liked from his 350Z in Florida. So it definitely requires a lot more patience just because we are gonna have really tight clearances inside the car with where we're putting this, both for where we can weld the bracket and for where I need to be cutting out for it to come out here. So yeah, that, that is what I wanted to get you guys caught up on. I am currently cutting this piece right here to make room for the hydro handle. And then Nick is coming over to actually weld it into the car. Adam ended up making some L brackets that we're gonna weld onto the main piece of the hydro. And from there, I think we're gonna just weld the L brackets onto the tunnel area. I don't know, we're gonna talk with Nick and see what makes the most sense, especially considering that we will have to take this back out to change the masters once we go dual caliper. But that is what I'm doing. I'm gonna start cutting this piece here to make room for the handle with a Dremel. a lot more cuts 
so I'm not gonna try and clean this up just yet, but I think this is a good starting point and then we can just see once this is in the car how much more I'm gonna have to cut off. I'm definitely gonna have to cut off a lot more, but uh, for now I'm gonna start with this. And yes, there's been a lot going on and I could not straighten my hair today. And this is my natural hair. I know, I'm Puerto Rican. Now you guys believe me. <laughs> oh, and Nick is also coming by because he is dropping off Adam's S13. He went through it, made sure it was safe because it did catch on fire at the track. The car just really needs someone to go through the entire thing, wiring especially in the whole fuel system. Um, gaskets needed to repl be replaced and I think some lines were a little messed up, but Nick took care of it. So he's dropping the car off now so that we're going to go for the track day tomorrow. Hey. Oh, the, oh, the, the, your new system, your new system. <laughs> I heard you installed some fancy system in there. This is a one of a kind. One of a kind. Vehicle with all kinds of additions. Like, no vehicle like this. <laughs> that M3, nothing. Oh man, I want to see, but he, he said no. He said no right now. Can I look now? No. Oh. Now I'm looking. All right, guys, welcome to today's video. I gotta hurry up and rush this intro because I got an impatient princess over here waiting to oh. see the new mod. Come on, come look. Come look at this tank. Surprise, your new tank. <laughs> look at this. This is the the whole back area. a missile silo full of water in my back seat. How good is that? That's so good. Yeah, that's that's absurd. You'll you'll see in Adam's video. Um, yeah, I, no comment really. Back to Vert 350Z things. So let me show you where we already got the lines set up. I guess I'll start with the inside since I'm here. Got the lines through the firewall from up there. Both of them are routed in here and ready to be hooked up. This is what Adam ended up making two little L brackets for and we're gonna have it welded to here and then I believe welded to the tunnel because we already shaved it. I know nothing about inline hydros, full disclaimer. I'm just gonna point to things and say things that I think make sense. Lovely, inline hydro. quality content for my channel. In line. <laughs> so. Uh, your front master, your, there's two lines that come to the master, right? One for the front brakes, one for the rear brakes. It normally goes into ABS and then tees off to the two front brake lines. We bypass that with a T. So your front brakes just go from master to a T to the front brakes. Mm -hmm. Now, the line that would typically go to the rear brakes instead now goes from the master into the car, into your inline hydro, then out and back into this T for your rear brakes. And we're deleting, it deletes all ABS. Correct, these two T's yeah. are bypassing ABS. Because it would normally go into here, mm -hmm. which is like the ABS system, but now. Yeah, and I guess in theory, you could use this kit with ABS, and I think we did that before on the 370Z. It just might act funny and like do weird things. Yeah, and I don't, I'm running without ABS anyway. So yeah, it's like. No, she's like, I don't run ABS in my race car, so I'm running. Oh my gosh, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, no, cool. this thing is gonna, it's gonna stop on a dime. But getting the hose through there is what um, we were arguing about a lot, and uh, I'll just. It got real uncomfortable. It, it got quick. real heated, and we are trying to pass the line through there, and like, he was telling me one thing, but it wasn't making sense, and then he just wouldn't cut the thing, and then the other thing happened, and it was bad, and I'll play that clip right now. God damn it, Clay, give me a little more. You, cut it open. It's right there, no. I can see it. You're, you're messing right, we're good, up. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. If you can go, a little bit wider, Colette, and basically go to, like, it, almost to the to the vertical part. You know what I mean? Yeah, like higher up towards the. Controller. Yeah, just just so because the problem right now is actually this whole piece you you need to cut out. Mm -hmm. You can just break it off or cut it out, and then go up to here because this is what's preventing it from going down right now. Actually, okay. so if you cut this out and go a little bit deeper, then we'll have room for this. But that'll be plenty of room, and I can have him just. Tack it in there. Okay. I'm just gonna keep chipping away. I'm just gonna take that entire piece off and 
and make the cut wider and go up more. When I move it to dual caliper, I mean, we might, ugh, the sizing with the masters might make us change where we're actually placing the whole assembly, but you know, for now, I'm just gonna clearance this so we have a lot of room. And if I wanna make this really, really nice and tight fitting when I have more time, I can always get another piece when I have the dual caliper set up and everything is in its final placement. <laughs> That's gonna be the money spot because this looks like placement wise this will be pretty far back this won't interfere with that we'll need to trim a little bit in the shifter plate but that's okay because this is gonna sit kind of like this that's great it's even closer to me with that angle too yeah fashion for Colette, I'm uh, covering up the raw metal with some pink paint just to make sure nothing rusts. We have clearance, yay! Yeah, it's good. It's perfect. Hey! Yeah, press the brake button a couple times. Beautiful! Yeah, we tried it out. Yeah. I drove past me too! <laughs> Can you give a turn? second gear. Really? Yeah. Felt faster. I kind of want to just like do it again in second. Ooh. Do it. Isn't it funny how you just get surrounded by smoke? I feel like in a vert you appreciate your work more because <laughs> you, you etch the track like yeah and it's like all around you. <laughs> yeah, your little hair. Explain yourself. Something happened. You're like really excited and you think it's so much faster and I, I just. did a second gear donut in your car that we were just having debate about if it had a blown engine. Well, yeah, something uh, at the track, something was up. Like, I don't know. But no, you got you got the grip in the back. You got the BCs with the two sixty fives with the Kumos, yep, with the, Kumo with the convertible grip, grip. heavy hardtop 
bullshit. Ooh, ooh, one, there's one change. We took out the big weight in the back. Oh, the 20 pound weight? That was like 25, no? I feel like it's a brand new car. It sounded like, I feel like I never heard this thing get to limiter before, and that time I heard it, like it, it was like, mm -hmm. wow, yeah, no, it feels like a Z now. Okay, well then I will load up. And <laughs> well, the cops come over, they probably expect that this sports car or something, <laughs> you see this pink thing. Hey, the super sporty sports car. Do you notice it? Yeah, but you didn't come off throttle and on it. You just rolled into it. I like came off and then like you had all down, the gun, the gun. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. How wait? How did you do it? Again? The gun, the gun. Hopefully it is better. And there's some weird reset that these ended up accidentally doing, but that'd be a lot better news than a blown engine. Yeah. <laughs> Are you zoomed in on my face like a lot? <laughs> 